Tonight, we delve into a story not of battlefields, but of the intricate and often unseen networks that power them. This is a tale of global supply chains, the arteries of modern industry and defense. At the heart of this story is titanium, a metal so crucial it underpins modern military power from the skies to the seas. Fighter jets, submarines and missiles rely on it, their strength and resilience forged from this remarkable element. Once, the West led in its use and innovation, but now, China has taken the helm, dominating its processing and supply. This shift poses a strategic threat, as defense contractors in the US and Europe find themselves increasingly dependent on a strategic competitor for this vital resource. Imagine the consequences if that supply were to be cut off during a crisis. The ripple effects could be catastrophic. The implications could ground air forces, stall naval production, and leave nations vulnerable. This is a cautionary tale of globalization's complexities, where strategic blind spots can have far-reaching consequences. We'll explore this hidden crisis, tracing the journey from mines to factories and speak with experts on potential solutions to this looming threat. The security of nations may hinge on these answers as governments and industries scramble to secure their futures. Join us as we uncover the layers of this critical issue, peeling back the curtain on a world where every decision counts. The stakes are high and the clock is ticking. The race is on to find solutions before time runs out. To truly grasp the significance of modern military technology, you first need to understand titanium, a wonder metal that has transformed the way we build and defend. Titanium is not just another element on the periodic table. It's a material that has redefined the limits of engineering and innovation. Its journey from raw ore to finished product is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of strength and resilience. Imagine a metal as strong as steel, yet only half the weight and almost immune to corrosion. That's titanium. Its unique combination of properties makes it irreplaceable in applications where both strength and lightness are critical. Engineers and scientists have long marveled at its ability to withstand harsh environments from the depths of the ocean to the edge of space. The military story of titanium began in earnest with the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, a marvel of the Cold War era. This aircraft pushed the boundaries of speed and altitude, flying higher and faster than anything before it. Titanium was the only metal that could handle the intense heat and stress generated at such extreme velocities. Titanium allowed the SR-71 to endure temperatures that would have melted conventional airframes, setting a new precedent for what was possible in aviation. Its heat shields and structural components made the Blackbird nearly untouchable, both literally and figuratively. Today, titanium is absolutely vital in the construction of modern fighter jets, advanced submarines, and even the armor that protects military vehicles. Its presence is felt across every branch of the armed forces, providing a crucial edge in both offense and defense. But titanium's role isn't just about boosting performance, it's about ensuring survival. Soldiers rely on titanium-plated helmets and body armor to protect them in the most dangerous situations where every ounce of protection counts. In this way, Titanium acts as a true force multiplier, amplifying the capabilities of any military power that controls it. It's not just a material, it's a strategic asset, woven into the very fabric of global defense. That's why control over titanium is a necessity, not a luxury. Nations compete fiercely to secure reliable supplies, knowing that their security and technological edge depend on it. The global trade routes for titanium are closely monitored and stockpiles are guarded as national treasures. The strategic importance of titanium cannot be overstated. It's at the heart of countless defense systems, and any disruption in its supply can have far-reaching consequences for national security. In the end, titanium stands as a cornerstone of modern defense technology, a silent guardian that shapes the future of warfare and keeps nations safe in an uncertain world.
During the Cold War, titanium was not just a valuable metal, it was a strategic asset, essential for military aircraft, submarines and missiles. Both superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, recognized its importance for national security and technological superiority. Titanium's unique properties, like its strength and resistance to corrosion, made it indispensable for advanced defense systems. The US and Soviet Union tightly controlled titanium production and supply chains, ensuring that their militaries had reliable access. This control was seen as vital to maintaining the balance of power and preventing adversaries from gaining an edge. But after the Cold War ended, the world's priorities shifted dramatically. Globalization took center stage and industries began to focus on cost efficiency and international trade. Companies sought cheaper suppliers and governments reduced their direct involvement in strategic industries. Defence budgets were slashed, leading to the closure of many domestic production facilities in the West. As manufacturing jobs disappeared, the expertise and infrastructure needed for titanium production also declined. Meanwhile, China recognised the opportunity. The Chinese government invested heavily in building up its industrial capacity, focusing on metals like titanium that would be crucial for future technologies and industries. With generous state subsidies and less stringent environmental regulations, China rapidly expanded its titanium industry. This allowed Chinese companies to outcompete Western producers on price and scale, quickly becoming dominant players in the global market. Western leaders and corporations focused on short-term profits and economic growth, largely ignored the long-term risks of losing control over such a strategic resource. The drive for efficiency overshadowed concerns about future supply vulnerabilities. China's strategic vision and coordinated industrial policy fundamentally reshaped the global titanium market. Today, China is the world's leading producer and exporter of titanium, supplying critical industries worldwide. The West's growing reliance on Chinese titanium has become a significant strategic oversight. Defense analysts now warn that supply disruptions could threaten national security and the ability to build advanced military equipment. This dramatic shift in titanium production and control has profound implications for global security, economic stability, and the balance of power in the 21st century. The story of titanium is a cautionary tale about the risks of sacrificing long-term resilience for short-term gain. China's rise in titanium was strategic, leveraging vast mineral reserves. It invested heavily in processing capabilities, outpacing Western stagnation. State-owned enterprises received subsidies to dominate the market. China acquired technology, sometimes through espionage, closing the gap. Lax environmental laws lowered production costs, outcompeting the West. By the mid-2010s, China led in titanium sponge production. Western defense contractors increasingly relied on Chinese suppliers. The global supply chain was quietly rewired. The West outsourced a critical security pillar to a strategic rival. Data reveals China's dominance in titanium production. It accounts for over 60% of global titanium sponge output. The US, once a leader, now produces less than 5%. This dependency is a strategic vulnerability. Rising geopolitical tensions have highlighted this risk. The US Department of Commerce warned of over-reliance on foreign sources. If China restricts exports, defense production could face severe delays. The West's military readiness is tied to Beijing's decisions. Experts have long warned of strategic dependency on China. Dr. Evelyn Reed calls it a profound oversight. Retired General David Thorne highlights the risk of single source reliance. Rebuilding domestic capability is complex and costly. James O'Connell notes, China's 20-year dominance can't be undone quickly. The immediate concern is coercion, not supply cuts. Beijing's market power is a diplomatic bargaining chip. The threat of supply disruption gives China leverage. It's a tool of economic statecraft aimed at military readiness. The West must address this vulnerability. Strategic foresight is crucial for future security. Titanium dependency affects global security and relations. 
It alters strategic calculations for the US and allies. Military production could be constrained in a crisis. China's control over prices impacts defense costs. This volatility complicates long-term planning. Dependency creates divisions in international alliances. China can exploit these fissures for geopolitical gain. The situation challenges the post-Cold War order. The West races to reduce dependency on Chinese titanium. Reshoring production is a priority, but slow and costly. New technologies promise more efficient titanium production. Diversification and recycling are key strategies. Companies audit supply chains to reduce Chinese exposure. Titanium recycling creates a circular economy. Despite efforts, dependency on China remains for now. The race for resilience is a long-term challenge. The West must innovate and collaborate for security. The path to independence is complex but necessary. The titanium story highlights broader strategic challenges. Globalization overlooks strategic risks for economic gains. China's control is a national security vulnerability. A shift in thinking is needed for future security. Industrial capacity must be viewed as national power. Government and industry must collaborate for resilience. Smart globalization is key, balancing efficiency and security. The titanium crisis is a wake-up call for strategic planning. The answers will shape future security and prosperity. For 60 Minutes, I'm Anderson Cooper.